Therese, I've heard that in Sweden it's the norm to call the others by their first names, so that's how I'm going to do it. You've been many times world champion and European champion. In fact, you've come up to, you know, you've had a successful swimming career since 1994. Uh, it's wonderful that you've come to Dubai to compete at the Short Course World Championships, and now you're here again. So, how many competitions do you swim a year? I, I'm, since I've had a long career, I've had I've had the seasons when I've gone to a lot of competitions just for the aim of keeping motivated and working and practicing my skills. But this year, I haven't raced that much, so I'm very happy to be able to come here and swim long course because I've had a long had a, I've had a long period of just training, and now I'm out of breath. So, excuse me, but yeah, no, it's wonderful, and the pool here is amazing. So I'm very happy to be back. Well, I'm sure Dubai is very happy to hear that. Hopefully, you'll be coming back in the future again. Um, what are you preparing for now? At the moment, we've we've done a long build-up season, and we will start racing in June, heading towards the World Championships in July in Shanghai, which will be the main goal of the season. And in the long term, do you think you're going to come up for another pair of Olympics? I hope so. not another pair, <laughs> another pair but I think the next Olympics in London will be a big goal for me, and it will probably be my one of the probably for sure be my last Olympics but you never say never like swimming is a wonderful sport and I'm so happy and privileged to be able to do it for so long and it's I still learn I still think I can evolve and get better at many things so it's fun well uh, Michael Phelps another swimming legend he's changing his uh, events a little bit for the Olympics we know what your favorite events are here what do you reckon you'll be swimming in London I've actually followed his lead now haven't but <laughs> the last year I added the hundred flights to my program Program. I've always liked the 50 fly, but that's an Olympic event. So since last summer, I started swimming the 100 fly, and it's been pretty good so far. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. Now you've already mentioned motivation. How do you, over such a long period of time, how how do you keep yourself motivated? Um, do you have any tips for the younger swimmers here? Yeah, it, th that's not a universal thing that works every day. But for me, it's been to keep take one step at a time and really keep one day at a time in mind. So you never you don't think of the long task it's very exhausting to think about all the training you have to do from now on until my next big competition so I just try and do the best and most out of every day now uh, just in case when when a swimmer a younger swimmer has had enough of swimming are there any suggestions you have like what else you can do what do you enjoy apart from swimming uh, well, you're doing a great job <laughs> so there's always that option but I think like if you can I would recommend staying in the sport like somehow get involved in swimming it's a very like I love sport it's provide something else and I've tried other things and I've <laughs> ventured and tried to work in a normal society like a normal day job but I think nothing is as rewarding as working with sport you get emotions and you get to experience things and passion which is hard to find in other areas I reckon Therese Alzheimer, thank you very much hopefully see you here next year again oh, I hope so too, thank you very much for having me thank you, thank you.